Your parents are toxic to you in a sense. When you start getting older, you have to get out of the house, out of the city, sometimes out of the state, sometimes out of the country. And that's because the adults, around the adults, soil pathogens begin to build up. And the, the adults can deal with a little bit of pathogen disease. But the young, delicate seedlings like these guys, if they're the same species, they actually get hit pretty hard because the pathogens that are on, say, this tree species or this vine species tend to be somewhat specific to this species. And a, a young developing seedling really has a hard time surviving these pathogens because the pathogens just have to affect them a little bit. And they're in the understory and they're small and they don't have a lot of resources, so it can kill them. And so plants have mechanisms to disperse their seed far away. The reason why we have fruits Plants produce fruits with the seeds inside, so animals will take those fruits and carry them away, sometimes eat the, eat the seeds and defecate them, or sometimes just eat the, the fruit around the seeds and throw them away. And so it moves the seeds away from the, the trees. Now what we're finding with this ability of these vines to, to reproduce clonally, you actually have some kind of clumping of individuals through clonal reproduction, and then you have dispersion of individuals through sexual reproduction. And so that's what we think is happening with, with, with vines. But with trees, throughout this forest and throughout Barrow, Colorado Island and that forest, there seems to be very strong evidence now that seedlings that are further away from their parents do better. So kids, let that be a lesson to you. <laughs>